Hi everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my Black Screen series. This is episode 45, which is, if you notice, I played it straight away after 44. Um, because I was late with 44, I'm on time with this one unless I do it tomorrow. But, yeah. Um, there's only seven weeks to the end of the year now. And um, I'm feeling a little accomplished. Um, because, not by Christmas, but by now, I'll have a cyber truck working. Um, so today, I took it for its first successful test drive. <laughs> Alright, I'll fess up here, and I'll say that it wasn't the first drive. Um, yesterday, so I've been, I've been driving it around like an RC car, with holding the throttle, which is attached by a cord outside and walking alongside it and just twisting the throttle a little bit and walk alongside it um and then i can just hang on to it as brakes if i need to stop you know because I've, I've got to turn the wheels from the outside but anyway i set the steering up and i decided oh i can just move it down here and weld that last bit of the steering in place well i found out the hard way that I needed to weld that last piece in place, but before I tried to steer, <laughs> I thought it'd have a little bit of steering, but anyway, it didn't, <laughs> and of course the brakes weren't working yet, so, and they still aren't quiet, I need to bleed them, um, yeah, so I need to get more brake fluid, because I had to dump a little bit of fluid out of the brakes to move a piston back to get them fitted. I don't know, maybe the pros have a better way of doing it. So they don't have to bleed the brakes afterwards, but... Then it's the brakes. <laughs> anyway, um... So... I'm in the cyber truck And I put it in reverse. And I just wanted to go back a little bit and turn. And then I wanted to drive forward and park where I normally park. But, yeah, facing the same direction. But I'd come in from with a big circle. And I thought best to do that because um, steering's not great, you know. So, anyway, so I had no steering and no brakes and I went to move back a bit and then I couldn't turn and couldn't stop and just started picking up speed rolling towards the pool fence smashed through the pool fence knocked all the outdoor furniture out of the way and stopped just before the pool which was very lucky I was completely in the pool area um, so I could have rolled backwards in the cyber truck with the cyber truck into the pool if all that stuff wasn't there to slow me down, like the fence and all the pool furniture. I would have been in, probably in the side truck. And, um, yeah. Um, it would have rolled in on an angle too, so it would have, it wouldn't have just dropped in rear end first, because it was going rear first. It would have hit on an angle, so it would have rolled. So it would have gone in top first upside down which is all right I could get out because the roof wasn't on and even with the roof on you can still get out but yeah it would it would have been history for the side of the truck um, all the electrics would have been screwed um, maybe the Maybe the um, wood panelling might have been okay, but I guess some um, vinyl wrapping might be damaged. 
Yeah. I did get a bit of vinyl wrap, wrap damage from the impact, I think, because a bit popped off. I stuck it back on by hand and it came off again today. Um, <coughs> but anyway, that's a cosmetic thing. So, this morning, after yesterday's disaster, I decided to finish off the steering. I pushed it into place, of course. Welded up the steering. Um, checked it out. It worked. It was stiff, but it worked. Um, and uh, then I thought, bugger the brakes. They're fitted. I need to bleed them, but it was too late in the day to go get some brake fluid. So I had to stuff around with them. So I just thought, uh, I know I've got no brakes, but I can steer at least now. And if I face away from the pool and head away from it, and I do that part like from the outside with the throttle in my hand. <laughs> um, so I put it where I want it and face it away from the pool and then hop in it. <laughs> so I did that, I hopped in and I videoed myself driving around the yard. Um, so yeah, with no brakes, no seat and no pedals and the electrics still aren't done. And the last bit of wrap, which is the sides. But I think now I need to rewrap the nose. Or, yeah, one corner of the nose piece has come off. And the other bit was a bit dodgy anyway. The centre piece is okay, but I might as well just peel that off and start again because the three of them are all lined up, so I wanted it all to be done in one piece, really. Let's see how we go. Anyway, I'm rambling. So yeah, I got to drive a cyber truck, and once I bleed the brakes, it's ready to drive on the road. Um, I need to take the wheels off and do the washers on the back on the rear end because the yeah I need to put shims in and need to put the washers on the back wheels and that'll hold the back wheels up a bit straighter. They're on a bit of an angle. It's like they've got massive camber. But yeah. I designed it with a tiny bit of camber, but yeah, it's exaggerated without any shims and washers. <coughs> and it means that things move around in the rear end, like the axles, which is bad for them. They're tough though, so I can handle it. But still do too much of that I'm going to cause wear to the axles and um, so yeah another issue I'm having is the electrics cutting out um, it's like it doesn't like a lot of power I won't know till I do a proper test on the road so I'm going to go once I've got the brakes working there's a um, like a long driveway that goes down to a couple of properties beside our property. So no cars really use it other than three people will live there. And one doesn't even live there. The house is vacant. And yeah, so I can use that to do testing on. A bit of, you know, tarmac. Asheville and um, yeah so there's a gentle hill so I can roll down the hill testing the brakes if the brakes don't work there's a little bit of a gutter that I can rub the tyres against to slow, me down, slow myself down bring myself to a stop safely yeah. Um, yeah. and I'm pretty sure there's gutter on both sides as well yeah. no cars there anyway so it's all good and yeah, so when I get to the bottom, I can turn around behind our place. There's a bit of grassy bit, mm. so a nice gentle area to turn around on. Come back towards that 
um, road again and then I can go uphill it's just a gentle uphill but I can then open the throttle up a bit and see how quick I can climb the hill and if it'll cut out just normally without all the bumps because I'm driving it on rough terrain on the grass it's all uneven um, and that's another thing I've noticed don't really need suspension um, even on the grass it handles the bumps okay it's a little bumpy but yeah um, there's plenty of flex especially in the rear end it's even got a bit of bounce so it's like it's got road suspension already built in just with the flex of the chassis the front's a bit stiffer but you want that <laughs> anyway I'm rambling again um, so yeah really happy that that happened um, what I would prefer was to have footage of, from the outside of someone filming me do that and with the dogs in the back I didn't have the dogs in the back and I was just filming from inside the cab and yeah the, there's all sorts of noise and stuff going on there's things rubbing because the wheels aren't back wheels need the shims so they're rubbing on the guards and stuff yeah um and things are vibrating but yeah anyway so tomorrow I take the wheel rear wheels off put the shims in place put the washers in place that sorts the rear end out <coughs> Or probably about an hour's work at the most. Um, then I've got to go get some brake fluid and come back and bleed, bleed the brakes. And I've worked out that I can do that already by myself. So it's a good thing that I haven't installed the floor in the front because I can reach up and get the brake lever while I'm bleeding the brakes from outside the side of the truck. If the floor was in the way, I wouldn't be able to do that. So, um, yeah, so, wheel, wheels with the shims and washers, the brakes, bleeding, <laughs> and then the seat. So finish off the seat. Maybe then I'll finish off the floor area, like the inner guards and the front floor area. And that'll sort of finish off the bodywork. Um, then all it needs doing is um, pedals, electricals. Um, <coughs> but these are after it's on the road. So electricals get done first, then pedals get done, and then it's legit. Um, and then what? Then we start having cool fun with the dogs going places. <laughs> I'm a little concerned that the batteries aren't great. Um, so that's what I was talking about with that test that I'll be doing in the driveway next door. <coughs> All that little road that goes to those few houses. It's not really a driveway because they all use it. <coughs> and it's got driveways coming off it. <laughs> so it's almost like a street that has got a name. But it's only for a few houses. <coughs> anyway. Um, if the power cuts out... Um, going up that hill without any bumps and just from and with the shims in place so that there's no jarring of the axles from me accelerating hard or something um, so that's another thing I suspect is triggering the power to cut out but yeah I'm suspecting that it could be the batteries aren't up to the job um, or you know they're they're up for the job of helping me crawl around, but I don't think they've got the power that they're supposed to have. 
and I'll know, like I said, because there's a bit of an incline, and it's about 50 to 100 metres long, so I can gently start to climb the hill, and I can gently accelerate harder and harder, and see what sort of power I've got, if it doesn't cut out. And that's another thing I have to charge the batteries too, because I noticed um, this morning, just moving around the yard with me standing outside it, just, I just had to move it out of the sun to work on it. I noticed that the battery was cutting out and um, also noticed that it dropped below 100% for the first time. So these batteries seem to, as soon as they dropped under 100% at all, they're pretty much in need of a charge. Um, so yeah, it was moving me along, but if I gave it just a tiny bit too much throttle, it would cut out. And then the other one was staying on, so I was thinking, well, it's just that one battery. And I kept unplugging it, because it wouldn't turn on, on and off with a button, so I'd unplug the battery and plug it back in, then I could turn it on. Um, which is a pain in the butt, especially if you're sitting on the side of a truck because the batteries are behind you, be behind, under, kind of, yeah, so I'm thinking of putting a nice lighter switch in for the batteries so I can just kill the batteries and then reignite them again with a nice lighter switch. Um, but I'd like two separate ones and I'd have them on the dash. I've got plenty of room on the dash to fit, a, fit an extra switch. So yeah, I can isolate the batteries um, with the isolator switch and that means I don't have to un reach it you know, turn around and un find the plug, unplug the battery, plug it back in again, turn back around, sit back down, hit the power button. I can just, if it cuts out, I can just reach forward on the dash, hit the isolator switch, turn it back on, on again, and then um, hit the start button, and it should start up again, without having to unplug the battery. Anyway, that's more rambling for you. Um, so yeah, it was raining in the last episode. <laughs> it was just earlier this evening. <sighs> but yeah, the rain seems to have stopped now, which is good. Because if you were paying attention to the last episode, you would have heard that I had leaky roof issues. Um, <sighs> anyway, I'm tired. I've been working hard lately on the cyber truck, and um, I've been busy. I've also got other work to do, you know, like I volunteer for the Hemp Embassy in Nimbin, so there's social media stuff to do there. And that does occupy a little time. At the moment I'm researching how to use Twitter. So we have a non-for-profit. I don't even, don't understand Twitter at all. Sorry that, sorry that was loud. Just moving around and making a noise as she turns around. It's all typical Leia turning around makes a big fuss and noise. And then has a big grunt at the end like a snort or snore. As she relaxes again and goes back to sleep. Um, yeah, so Twitter or X. Oh, I need someone. I need to. I'm researching on how to. I think it would be best if. Because we've got a, a work email. So I think it would be best if we use the work email to start the account. But then I think I'm going to have to need to ver need to do verification through the email, and I don't have access to the email. I only have the email address. So anyway, I've got to talk with someone about that tomorrow, which is Monday, and um, find out if that's the way we should do it, 
or if I should just open it off my account and if I can see if I open it off my account other people have got to have permission to use it and equally as just the same as I am just like with Facebook you can make people admins I don't know how X works but I'm hoping something like that so we have some sort of business page for the hemp embassy on X and we have a handful of you know maybe four or five um, people admining and moderating somewhere between five and ten would be good if they allow that many Facebook did anyway um, I'm tired and I'm just rambling on now but uh, yeah so if the brakes get sorted tomorrow and I get to do testing and that works out okay and motors don't cut out I might take it straight to my friend's place and start working on the electricals and um, I've got to see a guy about the pedal assembly so yeah hopefully we can get it all happening in the next few days but yeah it'll be going tomorrow if the brakes are sorted once I bleed the brakes I can take it on the road as long as the even if it does cut out every few minutes it doesn't matter as long as the batteries are charged if I give it too much trouble and it cuts out because it doesn't it's not built for the power that my thing's supposed to give so I can only give a little bit of power and then it cuts out that's okay it'll get me to town if it cuts out 10 to 10 20 times on the way I just like I said I've got an isolator switch so I'll put it on that one side that's doing it if it keeps doing it after tomorrow after we've got the shims in place and everything sorted <coughs> so yeah shims in place I'm talking to myself now shims in place with the, with the washers we've got a what we've got to do on the front end oh weld the steering and fix that weld that's stuffed didn't say that out loud did I and then I've got to bleed the brakes and test drive and video <sighs> and then edit and upload episode yeah yeah I was going to try and edit and upload an episode on the other channel tonight but I just made a short of a bit that's going to be in the video anyway of me doing a test drive <laughs> so yeah it's just a minute of me inside it driving along looking out but yeah, I might get some more fil filming done tomorrow. I might get someone to hold the camera and um, film from the outside. And might even get a memory card and set up the GoPro. We'll see. I think the battery's charged on it. I just need to get a memory card for it. The chip thingy, micro thingy. Yeah. Anyway. Cheers, guys. Thanks for listening. God, I've been talking this long. Um, love you. Catch you in the next episode. Bye.